So in this start to finish build, it is a little bit different. I took what was essentially a trash blank. It was going to the rubbish dump. It was way too narrow. It was way too bumpy. It was probably about 20 years old. It was yellow and had stains all over it. I didn't just want to throw it in the bin. So I wanted to make a board and see if I could make a board that was actually usable. Now, if you guys just want to see the surfing footage of this video, you don't want to see me putting this jigsaw piece together, skip to about 15 minutes and I'll have some footage of it being ridden. Otherwise, sit down, grab a beer and watch me waste my time building this Frankenstein.
So there you go, finished. Basically I took that blank that was trash, it was way too narrow, the rails all munted, the tail was all broken and busted, the nose was just out of control. And that's what I got. I don't know what the dimensions are, I don't know how thick it is, how long it is, how wide it is. It's short, it's wide, it's got a lot of meat in the middle, but it's really, really knifey. You might have noticed in the video that I was a bit rough with my cut laps, my glassing. I wanted to look a little bit trashy just to follow on with the trash blank. So I did a messy fill coat or a messy hot coat in there. It's either called a patina look or a sand through rustic look. I'm actually a fan. There's a lot of guys that hate this look because they think it's a way of hiding up a really bad lamb job. But I love that look. I reckon it looks wicked. Next part of the video is, will it surf? So I've got me mate, Sammy. I'm gonna stitch him up. I'm gonna get him to ride the board and I'm gonna film and uh, we'll take it from there. So hopefully it floats. <laughs> Well, my boy Sammy had to bail, so I've had to step up. Beautiful day, but it is cold as shit. So, I've organized myself to meet up with a photographer, and hopefully, hopefully we'll be able to get some footage of me actually standing up. So cold. Woo! Well, 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 that was probably double the size than what I was hoping for. It was actually fairly solid out the back and that board is not made for large surf, I can tell you that much. I think the overall size of that board is about five foot four and it's about 21 inches wide and the tail is ridiculously wide. So it is not made for larger surf. Uh, and I found that out the hard way, coming down those larger set wave faces the bottom is just skipping out. I couldn't hold the rail in the tail. Everyone out there was on 6.3, 6.4 pin tail thrusters and I'm out there on a 5.4, 21 twin. Oh, what are you doing, mate? Have a look at that. That FCS2 keel has been completely disintegrated. Have a look at that. <gasps> so I'm gonna contact FCS2 and I'm gonna ask them what happened. And I will let you guys know what their response is in regards to their keel fins. 
and why and why did that happen? No wonder it was so loose. <laughs> oh shit. So my next problem is how am I gonna get this fin out? You normally get your FCS2 fins out by pushing up towards the nose and bringing the fin out. But this fin is just, there's nothing there. There's nothing for me to push against here to get this base out. So I'm gonna have to think of a way to try and get this fin out. So I've drilled the hole through the base. I'm gonna put some parachute cord through there and try and yank her up. Alrighty, wish me luck. So the parachute cord didn't work. I'll give this file a crack. Hey! There we go. So final thoughts on my trash to treasure board. So overall, a little bit of time, a little bit of money and a little bit of effort and was it worth it? Eh, the board isn't great. It's not a dog, but it's not great. So, you know, it is what it is. It was a fun project. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So the project wasn't a complete waste of time. I actually donated the board to my neighbor. Dude, this thing's so sick, bro. I'm gonna be like riding the tube and doing cutbacks. It's gonna be dope. <laughs> His young fella is just starting surfing, so he's trying to get him frothing to go down and get a wave with him. So he's going to take that board, little 5'4", it's going to push him into some white water and hopefully get him frothing to go for waves. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed the surfing footage. Uh, it's pretty hard to get that stuff done. Everybody wants to go for a surf, nobody wants to film. So let me know if you enjoyed the surf footage. Do you want to see more surf footage rather than just complete builds? might be something I can look to do now it's coming to summer. 
A lot of effort goes into these videos, guys, not just the building of the boards, but the filming, the editing, everything that goes into these videos. So I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you on the next one.